that you might have out there when we talk about your identity. Newsletters and print things. And I don't think that they need to go away, but they need to be put into that mix. And they, you know, maybe somebody on a mobile phone would like to like print your thing at home. So you should make that available if you have it. You don't have to get rid of it. Um, and phone and face to face, we're not going to get rid of that. But we might use some of the capabilities of social media to set up meetings. Does anybody use the tool called Doodle? D-O-O-D-L-E? All right. Do you find it useful? Uh, yeah. Everyone I've showed it to, they use it next. <coughs> you doodle, you don't even have to sign if, in if you don't want to. You send it to five people and you put in Monday, you know, 9 to 5, Tuesday 9 to 5, Wednesday 9 to 5. Everybody puts in their name. They click which of those bands of time they can make a meeting. And then it gives you a little chart and it'll summarize and say, well, six people can make the meeting on Tuesday. So it's a free to use, D-O-O-D-L-E.com. But again, you can, you know, you can put that in your thing. So you probably have a website, you have Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. I don't know, some groups, I, I think if you're working with younger people, not in the professional world, I don't know that I'd bother with LinkedIn. Because LinkedIn is more, I mean, like if a student is a student at Columbia right now, and they ask to be on my LinkedIn, I don't let them be in there. When they graduate and they want to be in my LinkedIn, I let them be in there. LinkedIn is where I have my high-level connections to funders when I need funding, you know, the person that's like the head of the Knight Foundation or something. So I, that's one that LinkedIn, you know, I think you would um, be very careful about who you, you let in. And again, depending on the scope of your group and who you're servicing, if you're, service, if you're doing like corporate executives, if you're the community trust, you're going to want to have LinkedIn, but if you're dealing with teenagers, I don't think. And has anybody got a Pinterest? Okay. So Pinterest is new. In a year, I might stand here and I might say Pinterest was a total bust. But right now, Pinterest is really popular. Maybe toward the end, I'll show you Pinterest. But the idea is you have a pin board. And when you see an illustration that you like, you can very easily put it on Pinterest. And what I like about Pinterest, so let's say I have one that's like the food I was cooking for my daughter. She came over to dinner. And I put the picture from Martha Stewart's webpage out there of this certain asparagus, and it captures the link for me. So if I wanted to make that again, I don't have to go, sir, oh, what was it? I'll have that. Um, and I think the visual interest, I think people are interested in visual. So it's a nice way for you to get a picture. You don't have to worry about stealing it because it puts, you know, it's not stealing it, it's linking to it. So nobody's going to say, oh, you know, take that down from your site. And Pinterest, we'll talk about the, how the new Facebook timeline looks. Pinterest can be in there. So if you do have something, if you had an event, for example, you could pin photos of people, you know, if you, you had them on Flickr or if you put them on your website, you could make a Pinterest that would be kind of a, a nice way of looking at them.